Hey, what's up, guys? We got John here. How did you do? Um, I spent top 32 here at YCS Vancouver. Top 32. Before we get into this deck profile and ask any more questions, I got another boy here right here recording. Hakuna Madara. What's good? What's good? All right. Now let's get into this deck profile. Now, first of all, what did you? Why did you decide to play Curly? Um, <laughs> I was testing uh, the goo with my uh, my friend Hunter Lloyd. Huge shout out to him, by the way. We tested a lot for this event. Um, testing the goo, and I didn't really learn it well enough for this event. Um, I'm still cooking it. And then I decided to revert back to Curly just because I felt comfortable with the deck. I think it's pretty well positioned in the meta right now, and uh, I think that it has a lot of resilience and, and consistency, so I thought it was a good choice. For sure, for sure. How many cards did you play in the main deck? Uh, 41, 41. 41. Very similar to Kamal's list. 41 is because of one card is a new list? Or what? Um, <laughs> no, I, I think that like the deck has a lot of consistency, and I felt that I wanted just a little more non-engine to make siding easier and just to have good ratios. So um, I, was, I wasn't upset to sign one more card to the main. For sure, for sure. Alright, let's get into your deck. Alright, so um, I'll go for the engine pretty quickly because it's pretty standard. Um, six cats and then ten quick plays. Uh, you, you can't really change that up. Um, something you can change, I played three street. So I really like street because like you feel very comfortable when you have this because it, it provides you not only follow up when like you know your stock gets destroyed in the end phase you can attach that to get like draws but it also means that you can't really get impermed you can't really get book him well you can't get book him in on your turn like when you start playing um and it really helps you break boards as well because like a lot of interruptions target and so having this on field and just uh like starting your combos means that you resolve lily a lot more so i like having that um and then uh uh let's be my friend in the um, yeah, it's a standard. Did you ever think about playing a second E? No, no. I don't know, you just that, think of the Yeah, I, I, it's, it's not great. It's, a, it's definitely just like a brick. Like, being able to set it uh, from deck with like the Limnomar is just broken, and I don't really see any need for a second one, so it's, it's fine. Um, three nib. This card's really good against basically everything but the mirror and lab. Um, I use it against like Sprite even, um, I use it against Cash, I use it against Unchained. Unchained is starting to be able to play around this, like there are ways to play through this, so I'm not sure if this will stay in the main deck, but Dragon League is super popular right now. Um, I think I had like a 20% representation in top pit, and I did see a lot on top tables, I put against two, but um, it was, uh, it, that deck was just in it pretty hard if you're able to position it well, so I think, uh, I, I think I'll keep this in the main. But... How many times did you actually resolve this for the rest of the day? Um, Probably like five or six. Um, it won me my game, uh, match against the Tyrell which was nice. Um, uh, there's a card in my extra deck that I've worked well with him as well, I'll show you later. Um, so, three Ash, uh, three Imperm. Uh, this is just for, like, you know, generic interruptions. This is kind of bad, not that like, great right now. I think I think you kind of have to play it because you want interruptions that don't get thrusted, because a lot of decks are playing thrust, and thrust or D-Bear is kind of crazy on this deck, so... I think having Imperm's interruptions like solid, but uh, they definitely underperformed this weekend. Um, Ash was nice, he's just going for generic. Um, this card was insane. Uh, Fenrir was amazing. Every time I drew it, I felt like amazing because uh, it provided me like a really good way to have an interruption um, separate from like my main like noir combo on field. Um, it gives you uh, good like follow up potentially or discard. Usually it's the first discard, so that works out well. And uh, being able to go second and just have a free body that like interrupts stuff and gets you extra draw is also just ridiculous. So I love Fenrir. Um, Double Eclipse, and instead of the, the two thrusts, I played uh, one, uh, sorry, uh, the two talents, I played one talents and uh, the third field style. Um, talents was alright. I definitely think that one of was the right number. Um, I think it was the 41st card, I, like for me, I think. But you're able to add it off of uh, Cross, which is nice. Um, I, I think, like, having just like a one of is fine. You're drawing a lot of cards anyways, and like this, the math works so well in terms of like signing and stuff. So I was a big fan of like the ratio in this deck. I just think um, this under the like, imprint underperformed, and uh, you know maybe the book ratios can be different, but uh, it, it generally was. Uh, really good. Why, why did you choose Book of Eclipse over Book of Moon? Um, I feel like Book of Eclipse had a wider application. I think that like. Book of Moon targeting and only booking one monster like is not great. I think that like Eclipse just has a wider array of uh, application and does more when it is good. So I think that it's just a better option. Um, for the extra uh, standard, um, you could play one of this, but I think like for a long event, I want to have access to it because it, you go to grind games a lot, and I feel like having the second beauty means that you're able to like 
play through stuff better because you can have it as follow up to have clear boards. Um, it definitely came out, so I would be playing it second. Uh, Baby Noir, um, uh, Double Zeus, uh, Downer, and Slacker. So I didn't play Princess Sprite. That card never came out, but I don't think that card's great. Um, it, it, it can sometimes help, but I've never had a game that has been changed, like the outcome has been changed because of Princess Riot, but I had a game that's outcome changed because of the next card, which I cut Princess Riot for. This is a Junior or Transverser. Um, so this card's really, uh, really good. So basically what it does is it's two effect monsters, and um, if, there, if it points to two monsters, you can switch control of the monsters. So you can give them like a nib token, summon this, and then take the nib token. That's what I did against here, and I, I took like a, like a 5,800 nib token, so this card was insane. Dude, I haven't seen that card back since Drytron. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Drytron did used to play this. Yeah, I um, I was looking at Link 2 just trying to figure out something. I saw this, I was like, ooh, this That's card's nice. And, and it definitely uh, definitely was nice. It also, depending on the game set, you can like, take Griffin, because it, it's linked to Griffin. It's so, like you summon this, just take Griffin, and then you have a set of points too, so it's definitely not bad. And then uh, Azalea, and, uh, um, and it was nice. So, people don't play Arna sometimes. Um, Lava Golem. I didn't play against too many Unchained, I only played against two, and this was mainly four. I also played against one cash, and it never came up, so it underperformed, but I think, in theory, the card's good, so I, I might continue to play it. Um, triple cross out and uh, Barrier. Um, yeah, Barrier's an issue for this deck, and you want to make sure you can negate it. Um, it can also sell, like, the Book of Moons and stuff, and, like, hand traps, so cross out's insane. Question, were you ever afraid of Magic Deflector? No. no. Uh, I didn't get Deflected once, so I think, like, Barrier is a lot more impactful and prevalent, yeah. yeah. Um, double Book and uh, a Book Moon one, Eclipse. So, uh, yeah, like I said, I, I like Eclipse a little more, but uh, Book of Moon is also really good against like Cash and Pearly. So, having access to it is um, very important, especially for uh, Cross as well. Um, I played Double Lightning Storm and Duster. <laughs> I was I didn't really have enough time to theory like the the Pirley deck a lot. I just like really liked the deck, so it was mainly just the theory that I used from Brazil. And I, I didn't really like Lightning Storm. I think that it doesn't have a good like place in the meta right now. I think that decks play around it and play through it. So you think it's swap paper cosmic? Um, probably Skullmeister or another way to interact with Unchained. I think having only nine hand traps is probably not it. I felt like especially the Province of Dragon Link, but I wanted more. So this could be like a Meister effect failure. I think. Um, like, you definitely want more hand trap. That's why, I like, Lava Gloom is really good. I think that the card's nice, but, um, I would tell you what else to consider coming for hand traps. Um, this card was really good, uh, to Judgment. Um, the only time that, like, it wasn't good is when I got Xyz on cord, but it was able to stop, like, Book of Moon, like, Book of Eclipses, so, that having that access is really good. It's basically, like, it's, like, a better cross Um, when you, <laughs> on, like, your opponent's turn and stuff, because, like, cross up can only stop no books, but, uh, but what's cool at Crossout as well is, I the mo the card at Crossout at most was actually um, Prosperity. Like I, like three times against Unchained, I, um, I, when I started I, and I drew Crossout, I was just like, okay, set. And it started with Cross, and I just went, oh, sick. <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, Crossout that. But um, in general, the deck performed really well. I think that uh, some of the small changes like that weren't really too impactful. I think the deck overall is really good right now. And uh, yeah, um, I, I hope you guys like the deck profile. Thank you guys for having me on the channel. Sure. Thank you for coming on. Of course. Any last shout outs? Um, yeah, huge shout out to my sponsor, um, JNC Collectibles. Shout out to, uh, once again, Hunter Lloyd, um, Ryan Yu, uh, Charlie Futch, um, and then just the studs, bozos, and uh, my team, uh, JNC Collectibles. And, and of course, your YouTube channel? Yeah, um, Creep Overlord, please go check me out on YouTube. And uh, just a hook into my dad. <laughs> Legend. <laughs> awesome, thank you. Thanks for having me on.